Hey, welcome everyone. Once again, this is Kevin from CSMI in Australia today. Uh, I'm going to share with you this video on this hydraulic forklift. So let's get straight into it. As always, thank you for your questions, your comments and the emails that you send. Uh, keep them coming. Always happy to help. So this forklift, um, I've opened it and making this video first because I had a hydraulic burst. Um, sorry, a hydraulic hose that burst inside this model and hence I pulled it apart and I said while it's apart I'll make this video and show you what's inside this particular machine. Um, so let's get straight into it. Now you can see up here there's three servos basically in this machine. You've got two for the hydraulics which is uh, the boom lower and raise and then the other one is for the tilt of the entire spreader or the boom. And then you have a third servo which is actually for the steering. Steering angle is pretty good, so you can take some really sharp turns in, in tight corners, just like the real thing. Um, the axle is floating, which is also good if the surface is uneven. You've got a, a tank up here, got, and then you've got a small hydraulic uh, pump with a motor. Um, what else do we have? You can see all the hydraulic connections that go to all the four cylinders. And then you have, this is a receiver, you've got one speed controller for the hydraulics and a second speed controller for driving this thing forwards and backwards. The construction is pretty good, it's well built, very simple, nothing complicated. Um, it's quite smooth to drive and the best part is everything is actually die cast. So the whole thing is die cast, it's metal and that's where it gets its weight from, which gives it stability. And I believe um, it can carry about 1.5 kilos, so close to 3 pounds, I think. Um, here's the counterweight at the back. Once again, fully die cast, as you can see. Uh, quite solid in construction. So that's where it gets maximum of its weight to give it, gives it stability. Um, there is this plate on the inside that I've taken off, and then the counterweight actually mounts onto this plate. Um, so I've just taken it off to change the hose. What else can I share with you on this? Um, it doesn't come with the radio. There's two versions with and without the radio. So this one I've got without the radio because I'm going to use my um, my Gropner uh, MC32 for uh, the trial and the testing of this particular machine. Um, talking about the boom, let me just change the focus on the camera so you guys can see it better. Um, I don't know if you can see the detail on the chain because it's hard to get focus. It's so small. Um, let me just see if I can try to bring it into focus. It's hard to get this. But um, all, all I want to share with you here is this, there's two pulleys on the top. Let's see if I can do this. Now the camera doesn't want to play. There's two pulleys up here. Sorry, guys. I can't really get this camera into focus. Uh, but there's two pulleys up there. Uh, there's no sprockets on the pulleys. It's just simple pulleys. And then you've got this load-bearing chain that actually pulls the entire forks um, up and down. Uh, I'll try to show that in the next video. So in this video, that's pretty much uh, what I wanted to share is what's inside and how it's actually constructed so that you can actually see uh, what's inside this particular machine. So as, as always, thank you for all your questions and your comments. Keep them coming. Um, you can buy this from our website, which is www.csmi.com.au. There's a, a link in the description below. And let us know how we can help you. Catch you on the next video. Bye.